Wondering about his future. Michigan State, Duke, Georgetown still very much interested in number three. Here he is taking the shot and getting the roll that time on the three. Nick Jefferson. Ball stayed up there forever, but finally went down. Good job of attacking the offensive glass and getting themselves extra possessions. But here on a nice soft touch, nice shooter's row, and what you call it, the home, the home court advantage. Nice soft rim. Bishop Gorman now a chance to run. Oh, good job waiting for the defense to get there, and then Nikolov with the finish. Felios Rafael Davis, the former Purdue Boilermaker. In the house with us today. This pull up is good, and that was smooth from Nikolov. Tell you what, Bishop Gorman starting to show some real potential here in this game. Jaden Harris, AM, inquiring, and this is Amani Asser, number 11 on the dish, and there's Harris with the flush. And for Harris, that's the next step of his game. Think of going to, going to the college level. I go back to my days in the preseason tournaments of going to Maui, going to Connecticut, going to Disney. This is what you went for. Great pass. Bryson Tucker with the put away. And again, another outstanding alley oop. Tucker doing a good job running the floor when the ball when the game is not going how you want it to go in the country. Gorman's lead's been cut to one. Wild shot coming out of the timeout. Here's Jaden Harris on the round. Ryder Elisada is here. For Bishop Gorman, Kevan Wilkins. Wilkins. Oh, nicely done. Oh. High off the glass. Tough finish for Wilkins. Getting to that right hand, getting downhill, finishing through contact. It's a tough, heady move. Just the poise, the patience, just the wherewithal to get it high and soft off of that glass to get himself to the free throw line. Fits his name perfectly and fits his game as well. Oh, nice shot. I like this Nick Jefferson. Foot six foot one, he can shoot over the, over the tall defenders. Elisaldez able to pick up the loose ball. Jefferson pulls the trigger again. He check. Tough shot in transition by Jefferson. Well, I love the fearless guy on the court right now. It's Jefferson. But you love what I love as well. El Saldez finding his guy. He knows Jefferson has the hot hand, and if it's not broke, don't fix it. Find your guy and get excited when someone else is scoring and feed the hot hand. Want to see that game. 7.30 Eastern time approximate on the start time there. El Saldez is able to, to gather it. Feeds his teammates right. He is racking up the assists right now, finding his guys all over the court. 11-point game. Bishop Gorman looking solid on their home court. Jefferson, oh my. He hears you. Talked to Coach Bruce Weber a lot last year. He said that was the story of when they when they recruited Frazier to Illinois. He was going to see another kid at 6 in the morning. Another kid's diving on the floor. And look at Nick Jefferson just having a half of his life, shaking his head. He can't believe it. We can't believe it. Bradley tries to answer. Somebody cool off Nick Jefferson, everybody. He is. <laughs> on fire here in the desert. <laughs> Extra pass, Elisalda has tried to add to it. Timeout Raining coach. threes at Bishop Gorman, 38 to 20. I say playing hard is contagious, playing defense is contagious, moving the basketball is contagious. Tucker, score. Quincy Wadley. Wadley's been quiet. In the first half, as this one rattles around and then goes in, certainly a gamer. Now it's Wilkins from straight away. I'm telling you, they are just feeling it. All five on the floor. So which got itself freed up for the top of key jumping. Man to man defense here for LV Orange. In the lane, Bryson Tucker, a little soft touch in there. He's got to go to that and keep going to it every time down the floor. Biggest key for Bishop O'Connell the rest of the way. They have quite a deficit to make up here. Take care of the basketball. Take care of the basketball. Oh. And don't make silly plays like this one. Just close out with a hand high. For Key Van Wilkins. You can't hurt yourself if you're Bishop O'Connell. You got to close out with discipline, close out with a hand high, and not close out to the body. It's a great concentration by Wilkins to be able to knock down that shot in the corner pocket through the contest. 11-point game. 
See if Bryson Tucker starts to put it on his shoulders here. I think he just answered yeah. that question. <laughs> That's what you want to see if you're a coach out of Bryson Tucker. Tucker, oh, wide open, just right down memory lane. There's nobody on the floor that can keep the basketball in front of him or keep. Straight up and put it in for Swinton. Swinton has had his fingerprints all over this game and not just scoring the basketball, but with his effort and his energy, especially defense. See if Jefferson can get going here for Bishop Gorman. Bishop Gorman needs to run a set. They need to run a set, get it to the paint, good pass. Way to drive and kick. That one goes down. Much needed three. This runner, just a little bit off, saved. So here come the Gales once again. Jefferson, runner is good, and one. Things get tight, where do you go? To Jefferson, on the play before, a great driving kick. Jefferson, working quickly. Wide open inside and sticking in. How about Ferris Mookerbach? Tucker. Now Swinton kicks it straight out. Shot from the corner. Nothing but net. Five point lead here for LV Orange. Three pointers continue to be fired from all over the place. Over Bishop O'Connell. Quincy Wadley's been all over the place as of late with the steal. Asari the dish, Tucker the jam, and we are tied. Good pass by Asari. Passing up good ones for great ones. They've got to get back to that a little bit to finish this game out. Jefferson lost it. Another breakaway here for the Knights. Another turnover. Boy, they're in attack mode. And Tucker has been all over the glass. Half here for Bishop O'Connell when they led 15-14. Baseline. Good. And put it in for Cameron Cooper. Compete. Jefferson stepping Good back. Oh, that was beautiful. Some of those unwritten rules when the ball is dribbling at you, cut back to it. Works every time. Sweat. How about that move? It's a good, it's a good move. Good finesse. Good body control. And again, a two point game. 61 59. Here at the Geico Top Flight Invite, Drew Felly alongside Rafael Davis. Oh, have we seen some offense here today? It's a really good pass, but a really good, really good, really good for Bryson Tucker, making himself available at the rim and showing his hands, making eye contact, and going up to finish. Tucker, another mm. opportunity. He has taken over this game. Tucker is putting his fingerprints all over this game, defensively, offensively, making eye contact with his point guard at the rim, and then just running the floor, showing his athleticism in the open floor. He's getting it done on both ends of the floor right now. Now, playing with his back to the bucket, says, give it to me. Good shot. Swinton, he is getting more involved in the second half, and they have owned it. Another steal, Wadley this time. Everybody getting in on the act. Bishop Gorman, 42 to 23 in this half. So by 19 points, they are outscoring LV Orange. Bryson Tucker has been the biggest reason. I mean, 24 points, he's had a really big second half. And I like what he's done defensively, but when he catches it in that poster area, in that painted area, he's almost impossible to stop. He can finish with both hands around the rim. He has ball skills to get to the basket, but then in transition, he's just a load. There's not a lot of people that can compete with this guy athletically. And when his mind is made up to be a finisher, to be a playmaker, to be a defender, it shows why he's one of the better players across the country. Bryson Tucker, prolific prep. Takes on the Explorers. Can't wait for that one as the dunk fest continues. AJ Swinton with the jam. If you didn't pay attention, but ref was not going for it. I don't know if that deserved a tech though. Another pass intercepted. A second half, really showing why he's one of the better players across the country. A little bit later, check back in with this prolific prep. Takes on the Explorers roughly 7.30 Eastern time, 4.30. Pacific time. Hope you're enjoying the Geico Top Flight invite. Much more to come from Las Vegas. 
So for Rafael Davis, I'm Drew Felio saying so long from Las Vegas. We will see you a little bit later. This has been a presentation of ESPN here at the Geico. Top light invite.